Okay guys, um, I'm posting this because I um, had some issues, this is a 2004 Honda CBR 600RR, uh, I bought it cheap, the ignition was kind of screwed up on it, uh, didn't start, um, so I tried to go online and, and look to see what the, the common fix was, and a lot of people have put their symptoms on and they've put all the steps they took to try and rectify the symptoms, but nobody would follow up with any of the threads or the YouTube videos saying what exactly was the fix. Uh, for the bike and it seems to be a very uh, common issue as uh, everybody seems to be having the same problem I had. So um, essentially what would happen is on the bike, um, let me just get a screwdriver here. Um, as you can see my ignition switch uh, which would be up in here uh, is busted. Um, so what would happen is uh, you would uh, try and start the bike. And uh, everything would uh, turn on. As you can see, my tax lit up, got all my lights on. Sounds like it's going to run. However, um, you probably couldn't hear, but the fuel pump did not prime on this. So nothing's activating my fuel pump circuit. Um, it will turn over, but nothing will actually um, fire up on the bike because um, it's not activating the uh, fuel pump circuit. Further than that, I did some testing. Uh, I, I had jumped the fuel pump circuit just to see if uh, that was good, and, and it was. When I grounded out the fuel pump circuit, uh, sure enough, you can hear Prime, I opened up the fuel rail and, and I got um, fuel coming out of the uh, fuel rail. Uh, but the other problem was, is now the computer, the ECM was not firing off the, uh, the coils uh, or the injectors. So that led me to believe that the computer itself w wasn't seeing something um, to make it um, activate everything. A lot of the threads will say replace the computer. I can tell you as my experience as a technician, um, and I can tell you I'm an automotive technician, not a bike technician, uh, but very rarely is it ever your computer. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it, it's very, very rare. And a lot of the threads guys said that they would put an $1,100 computer in, never ever corrected the problem, they still had their issue. Um, you'll see a lot of stuff about the uh, ang uh, bank angle sensor. I, I checked that out. Um, I jumped it just to be safe. Uh, it, it seemed to be fine. I checked uh, the... Um, the uh, engine stop switch just to make sure it was working properly it tested out uh, perfectly fine um, same thing kickstand uh, all the the common issues that people uh, say might cause the uh, the problem still uh, nothing and then I did a little bit more reading on a few sites and they talked about a Zener diode uh, now the wiring diagram that comes with um, uh, the Honda um, service manual which I got online uh, it's good uh, it's not the greatest doesn't really tell you uh, what's providing signals what's grounding what's voltage uh, however I was able to make uh, do with it and sure enough I, I checked all the grounds to the ECM they were all fine uh, I checked the powers to it and I thought they were fine however there is a pink wire and you'll hear a lot about this pink wire uh, it comes out of the uh, out of the ignition switch into this uh, plug in right here uh, and then it comes out I don't know if you'll be able to see it but uh, just a pink wire so out of your ignition switch you have three wires one is the 12 volt feeding into it another one will be uh, 12 volts going out to your starter relay uh, and then there's this pink wire and this pink wire goes to your ECM to tell the computer that the um, the keys in it the key is on so uh, wake up and start doing what you got to do what I didn't realize is, um, when I originally tested, I got 12 volts to my computer. Um, thinking 12 volt system, uh, it's fine. It's feeding 12 volts to my, my uh, ECM. Um, then uh, after about three days, as you could see, of testing wires and going back and checking sensors and finding everything's working perfectly fine, um, I was starting to get a little bit worried it might be the ECM. But then I found uh, one thread online um, that talked about this Zener diode. So what the Zener diode is, uh, is located actually the back of the ignition switch. As you can see, it's right here. Um, and what that does is it takes the 12 volts uh, and it steps it down. So it, it puts a, um, I guess you could say a resistance across the uh, that particular circuit and brings that 12 volts and it steps it down to nine volts. Um, and I, I think this is an anti-theft, um, um, I guess, system for Honda. What they want to do is so you can't jump it with just 12 volts to fire up the bike and drive away. The computer has to see a specific nine volts. And the only way to do that is by uh, stepping it down. So when I tested the Zener diode, uh, sure enough, um, I'm getting the 12 volts through it. It's not stepping it down. Um, I then did a little bit more reading and uh, one guy had uh, used a um, nine volt battery. 
and just basically uh, tapped into the pink wire going to the ECM, uh, put the 9 volt battery in it and um, and everything worked fine. So I thought, well, you know, I got nothing to lose. It's a 9 volt battery. Uh, and sure enough, I uh, gave it a shot and uh, well, you be the judge. Okay, so now um, I've, I've hooked up my, uh, my battery. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this. I can't tell you how much uh, that sound is really getting me off right now. And uh, everything's running and that's, uh, you know what, I'm pretty happy with that. So I guess um, two reasons for the purpose of this video folks. Uh, one, the fix, the fix for the Honda CBR, no fuel prime. Uh, is uh, that Zener diode that's in the ignition switch. Now, I'm told you can buy that Zener diode online for about 18 cents and, and solder it in. In my case, I need a whole new ignition switch anyway. They're 40 bucks on eBay and they come with a gas cap and, and the interfering um, lock cylinder and two keys. So it, it's a good bang for your buck. Um, but anyway, the, the, I guess the other message I'm trying to get at is if, if you're asking for people for help online and, um, and you figure out the issue, you know what, share it with people, right? Like. Um, if somebody would have just put this on uh, online uh, at the end of their thread said yeah the fix turned out to be just this simple 18 cent Zener diode uh, I wouldn't have to be putting this mess of a bike back together uh, which is going to take me a little bit so um, guys no matter what you're working on whether it's uh, you know snowmobiles uh, motorcycles or quads uh, when you find your fix share it with everybody uh, that's that's how we can save a lot of money not having to go to the dealer so happy riding guys thanks